Hello everyone. This is Aves Samad. I'm a PhD candidate at the School of Computer Science and Engineering. I'm associated with the Distributed Storage and Computing Lab at the University of Electronic Science and Technology. In this promotional video, I'm presenting a paper titled Prompt Engineering, a Framework for the Healthcare Prompt Engineering, which uh, revolutionizes the healthcare applications utilizing the precision prompts. The challenges to explore are the leverage the power of prompt engineering for the LLM in the healthcare perspective. This paper introduces a prompt engineering framework utilizing the context aware prompts. Uh, it also explores the optimization techniques and the integration of prompts into the model for several medical tasks. A prompt is particularly used to instruct the model to adopt the nature of prompts, which has become a well known or well adoptable approach in the wider areas of domain. Prompt engineering has emerged as a pivotal technique in NLP providing a flexible approach for leveraging pre-trained language model. Further, pre-trained model can be fine-tuned. In this study, prompt engineering framework has been introduced, which emphasizes the wider range of applications where we design the precise prompts given, the, uh, given that the positive and negative aspect, where we hypothesize that the prompt pair actually helps model to generalize effectively. We perform two tasks, medicine prediction and pneuma classification, for which we use the MIMIC-3 Corpus dataset and the MIMIC CXR dataset. For the traditional supervised learning models, predicting an output y is given x, a given like probability of y given x. Model predicts the output y given an input x. But in the prompt based learning, the process it involves uh, transforming the original input in, uh, into the modified textual prompt and then filling the placeholder to predict uh, the output and the prediction here is the mask for which we get the desired output y. We can say that uh, there are two steps, apply the template and the fill the slots. Given this information, there could be several examples, but considering the image classification given an x-ray image x, predict the likelihood of that. For the treatment recommendation is considering the patient symptoms and the previous responses to the treatment X propose an effective therapy. Moving on, we have prepared a table which records several categories related to the medical uh, or the healthcare. Uh, we also recorded the prompts in a positive and negative pair. And then we recorded the predicted mask and then there is a type of prompt which highlights whether the prompt is positive or the negative. For the medicine prediction, we list down several uh, examples because we perform an experiment in this workshop utilizing this generalized framework. This framework is actually adoptable and can be further adopted for a further healthcare task. The architecture is delineated with easy steps facilitating the comp comprehension and execution. Uh, table 3 presents a comparative evaluation of ensemble measures uh, for medicine prediction utilizing the prompts with the 500 records from the clinical corpus without fine tuning, where the blue highlights the metric uh, best results and contrast red highlights the second optimal result. We uh, actually fine tune, and the fine tuning is based on the algorithm 3, which is presented, and then we further get the results. The table 4 presents the fine-tuned results and blue highlighted results show the best results where we utilize the medicine set of 30, medicine set of 50 and medicine set of 70. And the figure 4 is presented for the analysis of training and validation uh, loss plots with the different set of prompts. First is prediction with the manual prompt set. Second is predictions with the GPT suggested prompts. And then third one is prediction with the combined prompt set. The loss plots actually suggest the manually crafted prompts, uh, carefully designed prompts actually contribute to the model's learning process, which improves the performances and convergence during the training and validation. Moving on, uh, in the table five, we actually perform the different prompt engineering with, with different backbones, which shows the distinctive results and in the figure five and figure six, we can see there are several prompts which have been employed. Conclusion remark is, remarks are like the study concludes the leveraging the pre-trained language models and prompt engineering proves 
the effective across and diverse healthcare tasks.